Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform, darlings. Thank you for supporting and watching as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. So apparently we are doing something right on this channel, spilling a little bit of truth, too much truth. So the numbers are being played with. Um, so we're going to let karmics do what it is they want to do since we already know how the story is going to end with situations like these. But when I tell you, these karmics are like bothered. Like as soon as I try to post videos on my con on my uh, channel, my service goes out. <laughs> Internet goes out. Phone service is shut down. It's really hysterical. It's entertaining in a bit, but honey, I don't know if it's entertaining for them, but it's entertaining for me. But we're going to keep posting on here. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. And then obviously you know <laughs> a hit dog will holler. So I guess they're hollering. What in the name of source is going on here? We have a king of cups, right? That may have co uh, collaborated with a group of people. Maybe it was intentional or unintentional. Uh, maybe this this is person that was manipulated or forced into something to go up against someone. Uh, this person is watching you. They have a lot of admiration for you. This person may want to work with you. Um, so they may have an offer to give you. And maybe this is what people have been trying to block. This person may have been manipulated to go up against you in the past. Or this was someone that may have stood by and let something happen. Right? To you or around you. Um, but this person is going through some type of change. This collaboration, this masculine is no longer happy with. Don't want to be a part of. Because it ended up trapping him in something that he did not want to be trapped in or want to be a part of right so it's causing him a lot of loss someone is trying to find the strength to leave a toxic group of people these are people that do not want to change these are people that love that that just will not change right how they are is what they've settled for they don't know any other way to be these are karmic people lots of low iqs operate from lower vibrational energies and things like that and this masculine is waking up to all of this and he's seeing this right and he's realizing oh i'm the bad guy i thought we were doing something right something logical but no we are the bad guys people like these they take pride in doing things like this to other people they take pride in being the villain the villain they take pride being in being toxic they take pride in operating from low vibrational energies in life because there's nothing else for them their lives are over basically right so this masculine is realizing the truth and wants to get away from this group but there's something going on with his resources it's like he's waiting for some type of financial payout, something that belongs to him. His finances may be being interfered with as well behind the scenes. There's something that he's waiting for. He's facing some type of challenge that's preventing him from moving forward in business, in life, all over, right? There's something that he wants to communicate, but it's being blocked as well. This masculine may be facing some legal issues for some of you because of things that he took part in before knowing the full truth about a situation. So there's something that is hidden as well. He's not... I don't think this person understood the depth of what he was getting involved in. And it's really just now starting to uh, uh, come into a uh, realization for him i don't i didn't know what the word was to use but he's just now waking up to the full effect of what he was doing it's that people don't realize that actions they they are taking they've been taking are just blocking them causing them hindrances and this is how it's going to keep going okay so for set for uh for example if you like sell products online these people may come and interfere with your website, block your website, or cause like a crash on your website so people are not buying your products, right? But in their life, just because they did that to you, they may end up losing a loved one, losing a job, losing cars, losing something, losing their health. So it's like a tick for tack with the universe. And these people are aware. Some of them, they're sitting back and in denial about the karma that's coming for them. I keep hearing someone saying, well, nothing has happened to me. Just you wait, honey. Yours is coming. Yours is coming. Okay? No one escapes karma. I always say Maya knows everyone's address. Even the nomads. So, honey, just you wait. Yours is coming up. Sometimes karma will wait till you get old and fragile when you cannot take care of yourself. That's when no one is there to take care of you. And now you are old and suffering and having to care for yourself. Possibly in a nursing home where things are being done to you. That's kind of how karma works for some of you. And you that keep saying, nothing has happened to me. I haven't experienced any loss. Yours is coming, darling. 
and this is a feminine energy that's saying this yours is coming and it's when it comes honey it's going to be like a rude awakening unexpected okay but this masculine is waiting to send some type of news or he's waiting to as to receive some type of news it could have been that maybe he sent you something and he's expecting you to respond he may need your help to get him out of a trap this person is living in fear maybe a lot has been taken from him maybe he tried to communicate with you and the communication was blocked and he's not aware and you're not aware of what's going on with this masculine so maybe he's locked up or something and he's trying to reach out to you and these people are blocking his communications basically right so there's a lot of blockages going on either he's locked up or he's stuck with these people and he's wanting help to get out and he cannot someone may have even sent you some type of message like good news about something that belongs to you but it was blocked so you're not able to read that message or anything and these people are getting a thrill out of it but little do they know they have a tower coming for them the justice system is stepping in there's balance being brought into this situation for some of you this is a legal matter and the justice system is going to be bringing balance into this right so whatever was blocked stolen what type of what any type of misconception or manipulation has been taking place behind the scenes is being corrected now we we have the uh, uh justice card out here and the six of wands that means that there's something legal going on okay there's a lot of thievery going on here a lot of manipulation a lot of entitlement people are in mourning and things like that this is what they were intending for you someone wanted to cause you some type of destruction where you will be homeless out in the core this could be something they're planning as well there's something about a plan of by a group of people or someone and this is something they've been planning for probably a year or two and they're putting all the pieces in place where they think they're going to trap you in something so that they can force you into another into like a coat or clothing whatever it is they want to get you caught up in some type of legal matter that has nothing to do with you for so for some of you there's identity theft going on fraud and things like that signature forgery things like that going on behind the scenes is that people are setting you up to look like you committed a crime that you have nothing to do with and it's not going to go in their favor someone here someone from your past is part of this situation this person has some type of obsession with blocking your forward movement this could be someone someone that goes both ways but you would not have known why you were with this person this could be a male this could be a feminine energy but this person has some type of obsession with keep, keeping you blocked could have gotten you fired from work or call companies that you worked for trying to get you fired and things like that this person will, will at some point want to come and rush in even though they shouldn't know where you live you don't communicate with this person some of you haven't seen this person in maybe five years ten years two years, three years, whatever the length of time is. You haven't seen this person, but they want to come in. They know where you live by some means, have your phone number. They're going to come in with some type of surprise visit. Surprise a visit. There's something they want from you. The minute you get your hand on a resource that belongs to you, this person is going to come in trying to steal that from you. This is not someone that has any type of emotional connection to you, but this is someone that is a narcissist. This is someone that's sick in the mind, okay? This is someone that manipulates other people around them, and if you're not smart enough to pick up on the manipulation, you're doomed, okay? So this person wants to rush in at some point to come and make, cause you some type of disease, make you feel uncomfortable, it's like, I know where you live, there's nowhere you can go to hide from me. I always know where you are, blah, 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 blah. Me, I don't live in fear. You can show up. All I have to do is call 911. I don't care who you are. Mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, baby cousin. Even if you're Jesus and I said, don't come to my house. I don't want to talk to you. And you show up, I'm still calling 911. Okay? So someone like this, you stay far away from them. Mental illness, unstable. Okay? So th there is some type of sudden change that's going on. There's some type of realization about someone paying people behind the scenes or someone donating money. So this is like someone with a lot of money going around paying people to cause some type of heartache or some type of loss for you to block your forward movement. 
is that someone is intimidated by you. They know you are gifted. They know you are the truth and they are the lie. And they want to block your forward movement because you are competition. This is someone that cannot compete where they don't compare. So because they know they don't stand a chance against you, they are paying people behind the scenes to block you. Okay? This is someone that is aware of your spiritual gifts, of who you are, your, your talent business-wise, mentally sharp. You're highly intellectual. So this person knows you are the real deal. And the moment you come in, they lose everything. So this King of Cups may be wanting to bring something to your attention about a court case going on that's being hidden from you because if you don't show up, you don't appear, then you don't get what's yours. Someone wants to steal your resources from you, your abundance, your inheritance. Okay? But the truth is being spoken. Someone is hesitant to come towards you because you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. So you don't beat around the bush. You already know what these people have been doing behind the scenes. You know what they're planning, the setup and all of that. You already know what's going on. So someone is scared to come towards you. But you, they can't blame you with all the mess these people are doing behind the scenes. These are immature people as heck. Immature. It's like they're aging in number, but maturity is declining as the age goes up. And this is for greed. This is for uh, uh, jealousy, insecurity. This is for things that you didn't do anything to awaken in these people. It's just a lot of dark energy. And because they've been residing in these energies for so long, they don't know anything else. They don't want anything else because everything else feels uncomfortable. This is like a group of people with low IQs. That go that get together, meet together to come up with the most. Uh, I don't even know how to put the word. Kingdom guarding plans to take people down that they feel intimidated by. So together, that their IQ is very low, and because they all operate on the same level of frequency, they don't see a problem with that amongst themselves. But if you were to show them to the rest of the world, they don't want the rest of the world seeing them because the rest of the world is going to see the truth about them. Like, we have people like this living amongst us? Are you serious? This is these types of people. You know, like how sometimes, and please don't be offended by this uh, if you're from the South, where sometimes you'll see certain people from the South and they just look, they're, they're, they look and sound like they're in a whole different era from the past. And then you compare them to people from maybe like the Midwest or in New York or something. And it, the, the drastic difference is so prominent. It's scary. That's how these people are. That's how different. The difference between you and these people, that's how it is. These are people that are like into some type of dark traditional way of magic that's just not applicable to the world we live in today. These are people that are refusing to grow the heck up, to mature, and they think because they have a little bit of resources and stuff to them that they are invincible. If you were invincible, you wouldn't have to be stealing resources. If you were invincible, you wouldn't have to be pulling tricks to get anything. If you were invincible, you wouldn't have to steal blessings. Since when do people have to steal blessings? It's a curse if you have to steal it. Right? So, it's a whole lot of endings coming for these people. And this is not something they can block. They've, they've, been, they've been working. I, I see someone going to do like spiritual cleansings, honey. There's nothing you can do to cleanse this away from you. Someone keeps doing a return to sender, but honey, no one sent you any energy. You're the one that sent energy out. So who do you think it's coming back to? It's coming right back to you. It's not going anywhere but to you, and there's nothing you can do to block it. There's no spiritualist you can go to that's going to block you or protect you from that spell, that energy that you threw out. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. So it's coming right back to you. Three times full, and then the fact that you're going up against a star C, let's multiply that again. 
So every single person is going to face their karma. Okay. There's a queen of swords in here that may want to take some type of drastic action to come in and cause some type of manipulation. It's not going to work there, dear. You need to let it go. You've been causing a lot of mayhem behind the scenes. You lie a lot. She maybe wants to come in now and pretend like she's advocating for you. She's not. She's causing you mental conflict. She's there to cause you an illusion, to cause confusion, so you can choose the wrong beginning, the wrong offer, the wrong proposal. She does not want someone coming towards you to make you an offer. This is someone with a fixed mind. This is someone who's a thief. She feels entitled to what belongs to you. So this is why she wants to come towards you. Like this is someone that is hot. She wants to like hot with her emotions right now. Queen of Swords don't typically operate from their emotions. But this woman, because she's so upset, angry, and bitter... At the idea of you receiving what belongs to you. Oh my gosh. She can't sit down. I have to get to her. Maybe I can just go to her and act like and tell her that I want to be friends with her. Tell her that I'm sorry for what happened in the past. Tell her that he's not good for her. She should not accept that offer. Tell her that this offer is not the right thing to pick. There's another one for her to pick. Honey, don't even try to come in this person's energy. This star sees energy. Do not even try it. Because on your way there, accident, getting pulled over, don't even try it. There's something about a neighbor that's doing things behind the scenes. And for some of you, this is a feminine energy that's old as heck or could be young but does not look her age, aging backwards. It's, it's crazy. This woman's, woman is aging horribly. Like, it, this could be someone you'll see, they should be in, like, their 40s, but they look like they're in their 60s. And this is from all the dark work that she's been doing behind the scenes. This woman is used to testing people. She thinks she's powerful. She thinks she's this. She thinks she's that. But you're none of it. This is playground magic. I don't know what it is with baby boomers and the generation before them that are so obsessed with magic. Dark magic. It's like a lot of them, I don't know if they deal with insecurities and things like that. But they have some type of fascination with dark magic. And this new age of people, millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, whatever you want to call them, we don't have time for your games. There's a portion of millennials as well that have some type of obsession with dark magic. You all need to grow up because the rest of us that are not into that, we don't care about your nonsense. Especially star seeds. All we have to do is speak something into existence on you. So all that little, put a little bit of this and a little bit of that together to have some type of spell. We don't need any of that. That's you. That's your forte. All we have to do is speak. And it is. But I don't know what it is with that group of people. They have some type of obsession with black magic. As soon as they see someone they think has more power than them or someone they can try, they're going to their altar, go into their dark, dark practitioners to look into your life, to send you dark energy. And then when it backfires, oh my gosh, I didn't know what I was doing. I should have never done this. Now they're sick. With illnesses they can't get rid of, having heart attacks and things like that, losing employment, losing their, their stabilities and things like that. And it, it, it could have all been avoided if they had left you alone because star seeds don't go around picking fight with people. We don't even pay people any mind. If you don't come to us and say, hello, we're not looking for you. We are not looking for you. Most of us live in our own little world, little bubble. In La La Land with the, with, with the source. We're not paying you no mind. We don't care what you have going on, what you don't have going on. It has nothing to do with us. Keep it up. Whatever you have going on, if it makes you happy, good for you. But we don't care. We really do not care. Okay? This queen of source that now wants to come in and do some type of fake advocacy for you. 
<laughs> cut this woman off. You're showing up here as a queen of swords yourself. Put her in her place. This is someone that's manipulative. This is someone that acts like she's an advocate for people, that she's doing something that's in your benefit. She's doing you a favor. She's not doing you a favor. This is a thief. But she's so good at stealing and misrepresenting herself that people don't realize it. This is an entitled thief. That's all she is. This woman is wanting to come in to steal resources from you to put things in her favor. She knows that this, there's a union that's supposed to come together, but she wants it to be left out in the cold. Because the moment this union comes together, she's done. These people are thieves. There's a couple in here that's separating. They're losing a lot of resources. These people are about to be homeless. This marriage is over. It's absolutely over. This is a couple that steals. They don't even know anything about you, but they've been going around telling people how they know this about you, who you are, what you are, what you do, this and that. They don't know a goddamn thing about you, but they're lying, misrepresenting, and people don't even know what it is they got themselves involved into. You're showing up here as the page of cups, which means you are someone genuine, authentic, someone spiritually gifted. And then you're showing up as the queen of wands, meaning you are someone who is a, a hardworking, a warrior. You fight, you're a fighter, but only when people pick fights with you, you're balanced, you're spiritual, intuitive, right? You're stepping into your king of pentacles energy, bringing balance back into your life. And that's what these people don't want. They don't want you having balance in your life. They want to keep you emotionally unstable, mentally unstable. They want you unstable in life altogether so they can keep feeding off of your energy. And everything they're taking from you, they're being tasked for it. Repercussions for everything they've taken from you. So it's like someone take a toenail from you and they lose a finger. Okay. There's a king of pentacles that's seeing you as the truth. This person went ahead and did the due diligence to look into what these people were telling him. Okay. These people came in and said, oh, she's a liar. She's a thief. She's this or he's this. He's that. Whoever you are. I'm saying she because, you know, when feminists are doing readings, we're quick to say she. And when masculines are doing reading, they're quick to say he. So apply the energy where it, where it fits, okay? But this king of pentacles is doing or did his due diligence to find the truth out. He sees you as a blessing. He sees you as someone genuine, someone good to have on his team. This could be a business owner. This could be someone that's interested in you. This could be someone that wants to work with you. And these people were telling lies behind the scenes and things were not adding up. So this man went and looked into things for himself and you're showing up as the star sees someone who's hardworking with good character. You are authentic and he has made a choice, right? About the whole situation. He has made a choice to not work with this king of wands. Because this is someone reckless. This king of one is reckless. This could have been someone that you were supposed to partner up with, but because he didn't have a mind of his own, he lost that opportunity. So now he's reckless all over the place. Doing things that don't even make any sense. Now his purpose is to take you down. So he's making calls, doing things behind the scenes to block your forward movement, maybe interfere with your work and things like that. Trying to get uh, uh, whoever company you work for to fire you, things like that. It's, it's childish behaviors. It's childishness. You don't want to be with someone like this. Someone here has some type of sick and delusional mindset that if they keep interfering with your work, your forward movement, you'll, in, you'll, uh, in, you'll eventually give up. And then you'll call them or they'll know that you give up and now they're going to come in to save the day. It's Captain Save a Whole Day for him. It's not going to go at calling the plant. And this person thinks that you don't know that they're doing things behind the scenes. But you intuitively know. You intuitively know who this is. 
which means that they are not a candidate for you. Anyone that's willing to block your forward movement so that you can need them is not an option for you. That is someone that is insecure, someone that needs help, someone that's not uh, someone that's not emotionally balanced. It's crazy. This could even be someone that's married because the Queen of Wands is showing up right above him. So he could be married. So this is someone that will be willing to let go of one relationship to get into another one for resources or for how the woman looks, how things look publicly to people. This man is aware that you have some type of resource coming in, so he wants to partner up with you. He's learning that you are someone privileged. When he didn't know you were privileged, you were a nobody to him. He saw, he saw you as just another pretty face, nothing more to you. If he would have gotten in a connection with you, it would have been just to do some explicit activity and leave it at that. This man didn't see any type of substance in you. And this is because of what people were telling him and he does not have a mind of his own to think for himself. So he went out of his way to sabotage you, to partake in something that he should not have. And now that balance is being brought into a situation, now he wants to come and be your friend. Now he wants to work with you. Now he sees your worth. Now he's, he wants to validate you. You don't need any of that from him. This is someone reckless. This is someone going through some type of loss as well. He's unable to make you any offer, He but he wants to have a brand new passion and beginning with you. He wants to step out on faith with you. It's not happening. It's not happening. This king of cups knows the truth. And this person is confident, right, in doing the right thing. So he may be, you know, kind of keeping himself away from these people uh, for now, separating himself. This person is like in uh, uh, isolation, does not want to be associated with these people because he knows the truth. He sees the truth about you. They cannot manipulate him anymore. And this group that was collaborating, they're trapped in something they cannot get out of now. And some of them, they don't even realize that they've trapped themselves. This is how karmics are. They get so accustomed to doing things and getting away with it, they don't realize that they've made that one mistake that they cannot turn back time on. And they've done that. They've trapped themselves. Some of these people have pressing sentences coming up. So they're trapped now, and now they want to come in, try to fix things after they've interfered with a union that was supposed to come together, a collaboration that was supposed to come together. Now they want to come in and try to bring that back together, hoping that they don't have to face karma. You do. Someone may want to come in and say, oh, please don't, please don't uh, file any charges against us, blah, 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 blah. You do just that. Because they didn't care when they were doing whatever it is they were doing to you. Okay, they may want to offer you some type of work opportunity. Do not accept it. It's not genuine. These people are, they don't operate from their heart space. So any offer they're giving you is not genuine. Okay, there's an offer that's supposed to come in. Someone is living in fear, a whole lot of fear. It's, it's these people. This is what they intended for you. They want to come in, make you some type of ridiculous offer, cause you mental instability so that you too, you are too afraid to, uh, to take them to court, to file legal charges, to stand up for yourself. They're working on uh, having you all put out of your homes for some of you, have you left out in the cold. It said people are doing things behind the scenes. Taking things away or blocking things to see how you're going to make it out of it. It's like, okay, we're we've take, taken this away. Let's see how you're going to make it out of that now. And then you make it out of it. And then they do another thing and you make it out of it. And now they're just dumbfounded. Because now it's like, this is this is all you, you, you do at your age. You're being told to stand your ground. You are protected. This court case is going to go in your favor. The truth is being seen. Other lies and fluff is being looked into or being looked into. 
You're being seen as someone brave, someone courageous. You garner up the strength to keep moving forward, and this is bringing balance into your life. This is all you had to do the whole time was to keep moving, not let, not let fear hold you back. Okay? So you have good karma coming to you. Things are moving forward in your life. You have a brand new passion in the beginning. There's something that's been going there's there, there's something that's going to be offered towards to you, excuse me. It could end up leading to abundance for you, the family, the empire, everything you've dreamed of. And this is something that's also going to put you on the world stage. Your story is going to be heard around the world. What these people did to you, what they tried to do to you. It's going to be heard and they're going to be embarrassed, unable to walk outside with their head up high. They won't be able to walk around anymore with those smirks on their face. Because right now your enemies think that they've won and that's the delusion that a lot of karmics tend to accept and reside in temporary gratitude, temporary gratification, only to find out that they seal their own fit. You're going to be heard around the world about what these people did to you, where, what you had to go through, how they've been trying to silence you all behind the scenes, and how platforms have been collaborating with them. I heard someone go uh, interacting with someone on uh, that operates a platform, works behind a platform, telling someone to stop someone's channel from growing. And the person told them we can't stop it from growing, but what we can do is slow it down. So that's what they've been doing to different creators behind the scenes. If you speak the truth, they slow your content down. They start playing with your numbers. It takes longer for you to uh, 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 to go viral or for your channel to grow. They do that on purpose. It's not coincidental. People always like to say, oh, the algorithm is going through upgrades and things like that. No, there's someone behind the algorithm playing with people's numbers because a lot of the times they're being paid to do that. That's what's going on. Someone hacked a social media platform system. And every time you upload content, they go in there and play with your numbers. It's not a coincidence. There's some bitter woman that lives next door to you that's doing stuff to, to interfere with your forward movement. Someone, someone is jealous. It's a whole lot of jealousy. People don't want, these types of people don't like to hear the truth about themselves, but that's exactly what they need so they can grow the heck up and wake up. It's like these people think they're gods or something. And then these are people that wake up every day sending you dark energy. You do not want to create today. You do not want to go to work today. I don't feel like going to work today. I don't feel like creating content today. I don't feel like making my calls today. I don't feel like taking care of myself today. Because these are how, how these people are. Someone in this group has really bad hygiene. This woman does not take care of herself. There's a masculine here too that does not take care of himself. They have something going on downstairs. It's really embarrassing, and this is the energy they're sending towards you so that you wake up every day not feeling the need to take care of yourself. But you know as a star see, cleanliness is part of your identity. Right? Cleanliness is part of your identity as a star see, because your ancestors don't want to be in filthy environments. Residing in toxic and unhealthy environment is repulsive to star seeds and clean beings, light beings and things like that. And because these people are into darkness, that's why they feel comfortable waking up, not taking a shower, not taking a bath, not brushing their teeth, not washing their behinds and things like that, not changing clothes at least. At least take a whole bath. At the sink. You remember that stuff? That bath that we from the 90s used to call it the whole bath? Take a bath. Take a whole bath. Wash under your arms, between your legs. And, and call it a day if you don't want to do the whole shebang. Okay? But this whole thing about sending dark energy to people so they don't want to take care of themselves. So they don't want to work. 
is redundant and so tedious. It, it, sadly, I can see like some of the faces of these people when they're chanting their spell works. When they go to these practitioners, I can see their faces. I've seen a woman sitting down, literally doing her hand like this, shut up, shut up. It's like she's trying to shut me off from talking. And it's like, ma'am, mm, no, you don't have any dominion over me. You don't have any power over me. I have authority over you. So you shut up. Your abilities are gone. Your gifts are gone. They're all stripped away from you because you misused them. They're no longer available to you. So you will live a normal and regular life from now on. And you have 10 uh, lifetimes to pay back your karma. Okay? People are going to know the truth about what these clowns were doing behind the scenes because that's exactly what they are, clowns. When no one in a group has enough sense to set everyone straight, everyone is too afraid, but everyone is so addictive to toxicity that they have to keep going. Someone here is extremely toxic. Even when some of the members of the group don't want to keep going anymore, they're the one there. No, it's just this one more time. We'll get it right. It's okay. We didn't get it last time. We'll get it this. You're not going to get it, honey. You're setting yourself back. All you're doing is accumulating more karma. Something keeps coming up about a neighbor that's just so interested in what it is you do. This is someone so bitter. Wants to fake a friendship with you and things that no, you don't want no friendship. Star seeds don't look for friendship. We don't care about your friendship. Because we see you light years away with that fake persona that you're coming towards with, towards us with. So we we don't we don't want your friendship. Keep it over there. Stay over there. Someone was supposed to take themselves out of this situation, but they took too long. They didn't listen to the spirit. They were guided to separate themselves from this toxic family dynamic, as they call it. They didn't do that. They're experiencing an ending. It's like someone went and did something, and immediately when they did it, it was a sudden ending. It was like, oh, so we told you not to do that, and you still went and did it? Okay disease, boop, job loss, boop, divorce, boop, lose your connection with this divine being, boop, you're trapped with these toxic people now, now you have to live this lifetime learning a karmic lesson that you could have avoided. There is an institution here working together. Honey, these people work day and night around the clock. <laughs> To make sure that they are successful in stealing this union, blocking this union. These people think they know you. These people think they have everything they know on you. How can you know someone you don't even know the person's birthday? You don't even know their name. But this person can tell you all everything about yourself. Your childhood, what you went through, how you're going to leave this earth. Lord. One of you is going to end up in prison, and when you end up in prison, there will be no one for you to talk to. It seems that you plan on fleeing the country, but where you're going to go is going to be extremely worse for you. I saw you sitting in a prison cell, and you look old and lonely. This is a guy. You were frail and fragile as can be. The prison cell you were on they didn't even have a bed in it. You're going to be sleeping on a hard cement floor. The only access to the outside world is a little window. But when I saw you, you look miserable. You're, the only thing you had were your memories haunting you of all the things you did to people throughout your life. And if you are who I saw when you are passing away, my face will be the one you see. You will see my face. I guarantee you. And you will be asking for forgiveness, but I will be nowhere for you to receive that from. 
There's someone that's either passing away now or is about to pass away and wants forgiveness from someone. It's not going to happen. We're going to forgive you from a distance, but we're not coming in your energy because you don't deserve it. You're not worthy of it. Like you are coming after people that can literally end you regardless of the amount of resources you have, the connections you have. We can end you with just speaking into existence, your endings. But we don't operate that way because we're not bitter and unhealed. We're not hateful like you people. Okay? So this institution, you are, are over. You are been doing have been doing things behind the scenes to avoid an ending. It's going to be ending. It's over. This COVID, this fixed mentality about you are being better than other people. You are thinking you have authority to make cause in the lives of other people that have done nothing to you. It's over. Okay? You are, are being humbled. Now people in these your organization will have the opportunity to actually make decisions about their lives, what they want to do. Of course, they have karma to work off, but you all stole futures from these people, these members of your coven, your cult, your institution, and it's over. This is like people that, that when you initiated them into these Coats and Covens they didn't know right from wrong. They were too young to say yes and no and actually understand what they were saying. So it's over. All the blockages, poverty spells, donations to cause destruction in people's lives, trying to steal from people, it's all over. The truth is here to stay. The truth is being seen. You're trying to block people, but the very people that you are bringing to watch someone or to cause someone an ending is being inspired by that person. You see how the universe works? It's like, hey, 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 come see this lunatic. He says retarded ass stuff. Come see this lunatic. She says retarded stuff. She's mentally unstable. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She says things that are really lun lunatic. She's dumb as heck. And then the, they come and watch the star see, and they're like, wait, hold on. Hold up. Like, she's, she's speaking some facts. She's speaking facts. Like, I like what she has to say. I like what he has to say. He's speaking facts. And out of that, a whole soul tribe is born. So we have to thank you all for helping us. We have to thank, we want to thank you. We want to thank you all for letting us be ourselves and bringing us our audience because we need the audience too. Okay? Someone is facing a lot of challenges because of losses they've experienced. They've lost access to resources and abundance that did not belong to them in the first place because it belonged to a queen of wands which is not that reckless one that this queen king of wands partner up with. You, star C, are the one this inheritance belonged to. People were trying to block your privileged energy. They didn't want you as a privileged lady. They didn't want you as a privileged gentleman. They wanted you living in destitute, impoverished, out in the cold, unwanted, rejected. But that's not how it's going to be. Okay. You have a lot of opportunities coming in business that's going to help you move forward. A lot of different uh, 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 resources are going to be made available to you. Someone is going to come towards you, a business savvy person. You two will be working together and moving forward in life. Someone may be flying to come meet with you. Someone may be traveling in some way, shape, or form to come meet with you. I see a king of pentacles out here that wants to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. This person sees you as extremely committed. They, they admire you. You're extremely beautiful to this person. They want to work with you. And someone is jealous about this. It's like someone trying to tell someone she's, oh, she's ugly. Or he's ugly. I never liked him. I never liked her. I don't find them attractive. And this king of pentacles is seeing you like, dang, she's gorgeous. 
Like that's the that's the girl of my dreams or dang, he's handsome. That's the guy of my dream. And this person admires everything about you. And it's pissing the other person off. Someone keeps asking this king of pentacles, like, why did you do that? Why did you look into stuff? Why did you just do what I told you to do? Because some people choose to use their common sense, choose to use logic. And they keep bugging him. Did you do what I said? When are you going to do it? He's not going to do it, sir. Grow up. It's like a whole group is pissed off because a masculine energy won't participate in something that's low vibrational. They thought they could pull the wool over this masculine's eye like they did everybody else. And it's not happening. There's a new beginning up ahead for you, Starseeds. Have a blessed day.